Good evening, fellow tipplers. It's Tam here again, and welcome to the Spirits and Wine Club of India, where we review all the great and the good, whether they're spirits and wines and coming out of India. Uh, today, we're going to be reviewing uh, yet another Sula and yet another Mosaic. Uh, on a previous review, I did uh, a review of the Sula Mosaic uh, Grenache Syrah, and it got some, from us, we got, gave it some very good reviews. Uh, so, we like this one so much, we thought, let's give the uh, Sula Mosaic Chenin Sauvignon uh, uh, a good try as well, and see what, the, what our view on that was. Uh, price point on this is 430 rupees for a 750ml bottle, and uh, alcoholic uh, volume uh, 12%. Now, if you checked out the, uh, my previous review on that, on uh, the Sula Mosaic uh, Grenache Syrah, uh, you have got some of the history and background to the company. So rather than waste more time on that, uh, please just check out the link to that uh, review. And if you want more information, it gives us uh, details on, on the company profile. So today it's going to be a very short review again, and uh, we'll just go through the flavor profile and uh, characteristics that we actually experience. Put this to one side. Just let this uh, sit for a short while and just give some background on this, on this particular wine. So the tasting notes, it's actually a blend of uh, crisp Sauvignon and the fruity elements of a Chenin Blanc. Uh, so it results in some, what you'd expect is a light, easy drinking wine with some fruity overtones to it. I, the ideal temperature, or as recommended by uh, Sula wines themselves, is between 8 and 10 degrees. I think uh, this is sufficiently chilled. We've let it uh, out in room temperature for a while to warm up after we kept it in the refrigerator. So I think it's at uh, an ideal uh, drinking uh, temperature. Now, looking at the colour of it, it's very clear. It's almost, uh, there's a little foam on it as well. Almost reminiscent of a sparkling wine. The colour is very light, light golden. Almost, uh, I'd say, buttery colour. The nose on the, the wine. Immediately I'm picking up apples, uh, fresh green apples, some pears, and uh, also to make it a bit of exotic, as uh, my friend also, as we were tasting this, uh, suggested raw or the unripe mango. It's got that certain part uh, character to it, that sharpness. So those are the three uh, predominant aromas I'm getting. And there's also some pleasant sweetness to it coming through. Almost like a melon, melon kind of uh, character. In terms of the flavour, it's quite interesting as well. I'm, I'm certainly getting the flavours of apples, pears, and also that tartness of that uh, uh, unripe mango, you could say. Um, I'm also picking up some other characters. I did suggest melon. That residual sweetness hits, hits the palate towards the end. Um, there's also a slight honey kind of uh, taste about that, but that's not overly pronounced in this particular uh, expression. Well, as the, uh, as the wine, uh, um, as the vineyard actually suggested, it is a very easy drinking wine. It has some complexity, it has those varieties of flavour, one coming after another. But the finish isn't very long. It, uh, 
hits you very quickly. It it explodes in the in the mouth, and then it quickly passes away. I think that's ideal if you uh, want to have another uh, a sip of the, the wine uh, very quickly, so it doesn't have a very lingering lingering presence in the mouth. It also has a very light mouthfeel to it. So all in all, a very crisp, clear with a modicum of complexity. And pleasantly refreshing wine. I think this is ideal for a, a, a nice warm day. You're outside having a barbecue. Weather's nice. I think this would certainly fulfill the requirement because it's not too taxing on your taste buds, and uh, it, it just doesn't demand so much attention about other things that you may want to pair it with. For example, salads and uh, some lightly uh, lightly spiced foods. Uh, barbecues, things like that, grills, for example, uh, won't be overpowered by the wine. In fact, I think they would actually complement each other. Um, all in all, a good wine, but uh, just the one flying the ointment, or one slight drawback, uh, bearing in mind this is a Sula, and uh, the other Sulas that we've tried have been exceptionally good, is that the finish could be slightly longer. but. Again, that's a, that's a minor criticism. The, the main thing, I think, again, this is a very price-conscious and price-centric kind of uh, uh, expression. And for that, it, it, I would give it about uh, 7.5 out of 10. It would have had more, I think, if that finish was slightly longer. All in all, a good wine, easy drinking, very straightforward. And uh, you won't be disappointed if you have it. Hope you like the review, hope to catch you again sometime soon. If you have any comments or points that you'd like to raise, please do uh, put them on uh, the YouTube channel. Please subscribe to the channel as well. And uh, we're also on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll welcome your positive suggestions. Thank you for your time, and hope to see you again soon.